what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in my closet and it looks so so good i can't wait to show you guys everything that i did in here basically i've really for a very long time um have been wanting to make over my closet do a built-in system and i did just that so if you have not seen that video of the process of me actually putting everything together make sure to check that out um, but this is technically part two where i'm showing you guys the final product where i put all the clothes in decorate it just a little bit and have my new and improved closet but before we get into it i just want to show you guys the sweater that i have on it's from joepark.co um my friend joelle has started her own black owned boutique business so definitely um check out joepark.co i'll put everything right here as well as in the description if you're interested in this cleveland sweater it's super super cute and comfortable and great quality so yeah this is what i'm rocking today but yeah let's get right into it So first, when you walk in, obviously it is a huge difference than what I had previous. Again, I'll put the before picture here just for you guys to see, but it's a huge, huge difference and I love it, but you know, not much to show you guys here. Um, first, I just put all of my like denim things over here. Here comes Ava. She hates me closing this door on her, <laughs> but I put all of my denim things and I kind of just sorted it by color. So like black jeans into white jeans. Um, I did do it folded over like this opposed to hooking it over um, just because I felt like it gave a nice different look to it. And I did the same with my like work pants over there. But yeah, put all the denim over here, super cute. Then up here, I just have, you know, regular blouses um, and like turtleneck shirts and stuff like that. Um, tried to color coordinate this as well. As you can see, it goes from like, you know, multicolored things into blue and green, light pinks into the red and the dark purple or dark red colors. And then drops down, I wanted it to flow into here, this section. I'm doing, um, my dresses and longer things because of where the pole is it's like perfect so things don't scrape too far onto the ground um but i wasn't able to do it on the racks over here just because it's like the double rack but yeah so over here i just have you know some of my dresses cardigans things like that and then just put a little purse up here that i have and i did just stuff these with tissue paper this is how i always kept my purses if i'm not using them so that they could stand up um some of these like smaller ones i didn't but yep just did that then under here i have oh i have an ava under here i just have um my new hamper so i got this from home goods it's like just you know a woven little hamper it's super cute she wants to tell you <laughs> she's like pay attention to me um so yeah i just have that hidden right now good girl yep you're a good girl you want attention okay um so yes um so yeah i have this hamper um that i just have hidden under there right now i was contemplating at first about putting it in the middle and i'll show you guys what it looks like if it's in the middle so that's what it looks like if you kept it in the middle, kind of like when people have like that like middle drawer or like an ottoman in their closet. But I felt like it was kind of small and out of place. So I decided to put it back. But comment down below what you guys think if I should leave it out or put it back. Then over here, I just have my suitcases and like travel bags. Luckily, it fit perfectly in this area and I just kind of stuffed them in there and it just flows nicely into like the black jeans um, and it's kind of camouflage. Then I just took one of the shelf hooks that I didn't use and I hung a hat on it that um, I had just to kind of figure out how I can store other things without it having out in the open and that worked perfectly. So over here is one of my favorite little sections. So I added this mirror from Target that I got. I think it was like $35, I'm not sure, or more, who knows. But super cute, it's like a nice wooden, excuse my nail, you guys, I'm getting my nails done today. 
Ooh, um, super, super cute. So if I come in here, I also have this little jewelry holder. I got this from Home Goods as well. And I just put some of my hoop earrings. As you guys know, I stay wearing hoops. Been like this since like middle school. So um, I just put the hoops here. I have my Apple Watch here um, when it's not charging. And then just some other like stud earrings and things like that. Then over here, I just put some um, sunglasses more so for like decor decorations um, but also easy access and then another little piece here um so that's this section but i was thinking about putting these like puck lights here and let me go get them and show you i use push lights often in like the cinema for my sconces but i was thinking at first about putting them like here and using and let me turn it on to show you putting it here so that it like provides light for me and do like six of them but I didn't know if that was gonna look weird. So I was like, okay, maybe I can put them up here and let me just stick them lightly for you guys to see. Or I can put them up there and it shines down onto there. What do you guys think? Also comment down below where you think I should put the push lights. I feel like it works there. I might keep them there for the rest of the video, but let me know if you guys think I should instead do the push lights, you know, near the mirror. But I feel like this still helps, you know, lighting a little bit. I'm not sure, but yeah, so. That is from Dollar Tree, these push lights. I have these literally everywhere um, in the cinema room. So yeah, all you have to do is push them. I'm not gonna do it right now, but they'll turn off. So yes, um, then down here, these were actually frames that I was planning to put behind me right here, but I ended up changing my mind. They're just like floating um, frames. And then I actually printed these online with my printer and just put it in there. So this is just printer paper. Um, I found like line art online and then I printed one in the color it came and then one in black and white and it was super cute because it kind of looks a little like gray bluish. Um, but I ended up deciding not to put it behind me. Um, so I'm just thinking to leave them here even though this is glass. I think it's kind of cute, almost like a tray. Although it hangs over, I think it still works. So I think I'm gonna leave that as is. Who knows, I might put these push lights on all the shelves the only thing is it's like you have to push them it's not like remote operated so it's kind of like a waste i don't know maybe i can find some um remote controlled lights but under here as you guys see are the drawers that we put together this low key was a little bit of a hassle to put together like it just kept coming off the track and everything but we ended up getting it and they go really smooth in and out then over here we have the shoes and the rest of the clothes so like i said i just continued to do um that fold over method with the pants and i just color coordinated those so these are just more so like work pants and like stretchier pants that are not denim then up here i just have you know like a little coat sweatshirt um my robe that i wear every single morning and then i just put this little storage box with a pair of shoes over it this is actually a storage box and you can put things in it so it looks like a book but i thought it was cute went with the vibe with the light pink and the tan um and yeah um and then over here is just the little shoe corner piece tower basically i put booties boots and things down here like boot heels down here on the bottom row and then just like flats um and things that i would typically wear to work right there and then the sandal heels on this row a little bit more eye level um and then some of the pumps up here and then just more sandals and flats at the top. If I didn't wanna have certain shoes out at the moment, um, I just kept them in my boxes and put them in my other closets because as you guys know, this is a three bedroom house. So I do have two other closets to use, but still like I low key have a lot of stuff and things filled up very quickly. So try to just, you know, peel out what I wanted to and just store everything else. But lastly, is my rihanna canvas i actually just got this i ordered this originally because i was going to um i've been dying to want to paint this picture uh so i got this off of easy canvas prints um and you can put in any photo this is not a sponsor video i wish i'm giving them free press but um basically you put in any photo that you want and you can get it printed on a stretch canvas and it came out so good you guys like it's just different it looks kind of editorial kind of like i don't know just awesome i love rihanna so you know had to put that in my closet with the vogue vibe and you know give a little fashion inspiration but yeah you guys that's basically it my little nice small walk-in closet that looks 
10 times better than it did before. Um, I didn't even show you guys my closet in the house tour because it was a complete mess and it was just not up to my standard what I wanted. So um, this is kind of like an extension to the house tour that you guys didn't get to see. So there you go. So hey guys, this is my closet. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, um, comment down below what you think I should do with the push lights, if I should put them around the mirror leave them like that and if I should add more around the closet or get like a remote controlled one. Let me know your thoughts below. Um, also let me know in the comments what you think I should do with my hamper if I should put it out or leave it in. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you enter my $100 cash giveaway that ends on February 9th, my birthday. So yeah, it's super easy to enter. Like I said, all the instructions will be in the description box. So make sure to enter that, um, but yeah. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. I might actually start filming in here more often because like the lighting is nice, the background is different and cute. Like, I don't know, it might be a vibe. It might be a vibe. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.